I'm Lisa Steele of Fresh Shades Daily and I'm excited to be back. Today we are going to be talking about things that you should not feed to your chickens. Anybody who raises backyard chickens learns pretty quickly that chickens can and will eat almost anything. And as omnivores, meaning that they eat a variety of plant and animal matter, they actually should eat a wide variety of snacks, treats in moderation, in addition to their regular chicken feed. A balanced chicken feed should be the main part of their diet, but adding up to 10%, which is about a tablespoon or two of treats per chicken per day is not going to hurt them. And it's a great way to get rid of kitchen leftovers, garden scraps, things like that. So when I cook, I keep a bowl next to the stove. I throw all the trimmings and ends and scraps of almost everything in for our chickens and they get that either later that evening or the same the next day as snacks um, but there are some things that you should stay away from i call these the toxic treats now you have to remember that toxic does not mean immediately fatal so toxins do build up in the body um, so over time they can be detrimental to a body's health and also depending on the age and the overall health of a bird, some things could be fine for one chicken to eat and not fine for another. So there are some things that I stay away from just because there are so many other things that chickens can eat. So to me, it doesn't make sense to feed them things that could possibly be a problem. So today that's what we're gonna talk about. So I guess we will start with the obvious things. Um, no alcohol, you should not be giving uh, <laughs> cocktails to your chickens. So, you know, uh, anything that's got alcohol in it is probably not a good idea to share with your chickens. Same with processed uh, snack food, junk food, whether sweet or salty or fried, things like that are not good for your chickens to eat. They're not good for us to eat, but um, you know, if you've got some stale crackers in the bottom of the box, not a problem. You know, if you've got a couple of Oreos left in that package, you're not going to eat on occasion. It's not going to kill your chickens, but I definitely would not go out of my way to feed them um, any kind of processed snack foods. Nuts are great for them as long as they're unsalted, uh, but other than that, I would stay away from that. Chickens do not have the ability to digest uh, milk sugars, so dairy foods can cause them to have diarrhea. So milk, cheese, anything like that. They love yogurt in moderation. It can be okay. Yogurt is great for them. It's a great source of calcium and it also has probiotics that are great for their gut health, but too much can cause diarrhea. So you want to limit the dairy products. Um, mushrooms. I've read many times you should not feed chickens raw mushrooms. There can be fungus in them. Um, I don't know if it's certain types of mushrooms, but in general, I just try to stay away from feeding my chickens mushrooms. Um, white potatoes. White potatoes do contain a toxin, both the potatoes and the plants, the stems and leaves. Uh, it can cause anemia. So you want to stay away from feeding white potatoes to your chickens. No, they're not going to kill them. You know, if you give them some stew or soup and it has potatoes in it, I just don't go out of my way to feed the chickens potatoes. I don't give them the potato peels. Now, sweet potatoes, completely different food family. I do give my chickens sweet potatoes, cooked raw peels, plants, everything. But white potatoes you do want to be careful with, especially if they're still green. Um, onions. Onions also uh, contain a toxin. So you want to stay away from giving your chickens onions. Again, you know, if they're in a salad that your chickens are enjoying, they probably won't eat the onions. I find that my chickens kind of know what's good for them and what's not, and they will pick through. But I don't go out of my way to give my chickens onions. But again, I don't pick them out either if I'm giving them leftover salad or something like that. Dried beans can also be toxic, so you never want to feed dried beans to your chickens. Fresh beans from the garden, great. Green beans, all, that's fine. Uh, cooked beans, canned beans, all fine. If you sprout these beans, again, it's fine. You just don't want to give dried beans to your chickens. Peppers. Peppers, eggplants, tomatoes. They're all in the nightshade family. Uh, nightshade is a toxic plant, so you want to limit the uh, peppers, eggplants, tomatoes you give your chickens. Usually when I let my chickens in the garden in the fall, I'll pull out all the eggplant and tomato plants and throw them in the woods. Um, I do feed my chickens 
completely ripe tomatoes during the growing season. They love them. We always have extra tomatoes in the garden. The ripe fruit does have less toxin than either the plants or the green fruit. So if you give your chickens ripe tomatoes in the summer in moderation, probably not gonna be a problem. Again, toxic does not mean that your chickens are gonna immediately drop dead. It just means there are better choices for them. Rhubarb. Rhubarb leaves are toxic, the little toxin in the stems as well. Um, so I don't feed my chickens rhubarb. You know, when you cook rhubarb for yourself, you cut off the leaves. Um, I throw those in the compost pile. So if you do compost um, and the compost pile is open, your chickens are obviously going to find it. So you're gonna have to be careful what you do throw in the compost pile. So things like the tomato plants or the rhubarb leaves, you probably don't wanna be doing that. We have a compost pile that's, it's a, I made it out of pallets to keep the chickens out. And I throw in that pretty much anything that I'm not feeding to the chickens. So any of our food waste the chickens or our dog don't get goes in our enclosed compost pile, but the chickens can't get at it. So you wanna do that with your rhubarb leaves, your tomato plants. Um, also coffee grounds and tea bags. If you compost these things, which you should be doing, but your chickens can get into your compost pile, you're gonna to have to rethink that. So again, these kind of things would go in our enclosed compost pile that the chickens can't get at because they're great once they disintegrate for the soil, not so great for the chickens to eat. Same with chocolate. Um, don't give your ch chickens chocolate chips. <laughs> you know, anything chocolate, sweet, sugary, that kind of stuff is not gonna be good for them. White bread. Again, not great for them. Yes, I will give my chickens the ends of a loaf of bread, or if you know, this roll is actually a little bit stale, I would give them to this, but this one roll divided among 18 chickens, none of them are getting more than a bite or two. Uh, but just in general, you don't wanna give your chickens a diet of white bread. You wanna give them whole grains and things like that. And citrus, lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruit. My chickens, I don't like citrus, so I get, if I give them a fruit salad and it has some uh, orange segments in it or slices in it, they generally leave them. Uh, again, they usually know what's good for them. Too much citrus can lead to soft shelled eggs. Citrus can leach calcium out of the bones. Um, so you just wanna be careful about how much citrus you're giving your chickens. You know, I wouldn't necessarily give them like a bowl of orange juice or anything like that. So that was just a quick overview of some of the things that are just really not great to feed to your chickens. Um, just things to keep in mind, you know, when you're making choices for them, giving them whole grains, giving them leafy greens, you know, vegetables, fruits, those are all great things to give them, except for these few things. So again, I am Lisa Steele from Fresh Eggs Daily, and I hope this has been helpful.